Good afternoon, and I too am happy to be here, and I am part also, as Jeff is, with the West Michigan Immigration Reform Coalition. And many of you perhaps have already heard that faith leaders all across the country, the United States Catholic bishops, the uh, Church World Service, of which a lot of these have joined together into the National Interfaith Immigration Coalition. Lutheran Immigration Re in, uh, Refugee Services, Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society, the United Methodist Church, we know that that's the uh, Justice for Our Neighbors program. PICO is part of uh, the National Network and they've worked with workers. Network, the National Catholic Social Justice Lobby, United Church of Christ, Interfaith Worker Justice out of Chicago, but it's a nationwide organization. And Sojourners, um, Jim Wallace has been on this for years and years. And all of them have issued statements that say, now is the time. Our immigration system has been in place for a number of years. It needs to be re-looked at in favor of labor, in favor of people, in favor of the economics that would be there. Yes, we say humane immigration reform is to have a path to citizenship, to make sure that a priority is families, and that's what builds our uh, values, our, eco our economic program, yes, but also supports our uh, values of caring for others. I guess I always go back to who is the first immigrant in the faith community. You go back and we know that Jesus and his, um, with Mary and Joseph had to flee Egypt. And what happened is that was a political kind of thing. And so again, there, we have a reference to go back to that. I guess last night the president spoke of immigration. And I guess he also said that the time is now. So we appreciate that the Congress too, different leaders are coming out and saying, yes, now is the time we need to do it. They have various different reasons for it. But the fact would be that sometimes they're tacking this onto the fact that we have to secure our borders some more. Now, what does this really mean? Network, the National Catholic Social Justice Lobby, sent uh, a memo that said, in recent years, our country has poured almost $200 billion into keeping the borders safe. Southern border communities have given statistics as well that we have made sure that the borders are safe. The problem now is what can be done so that we can be documented? What can we do with that system to change it so that we can? This morning at, in Washington, faith leaders gathered at 8.30, Ash Wednesday, uh, the prayer service for the immigrants, immigrant rights. And they gathered at 8.30 for a prayer service because at 9.30 there were going to be congressional hearings this morning on immigration. We need to be able to uh, get our people together to be able to call legislators and let them know that it is important to us. It's important for our values, for our families, for our workers, and for the safety of all. I guess I would just like to close with the prayer that they offered a longer one, but I have a short one that would say, Blessed are you, Lord Jesus Christ. You crossed every border between divinity and humanity to make your home with us. Help us now to welcome you in newcomers, migrants, and refugees. Blessed are you, God of all nations. Thank you.